just some dude here, and today I'm going to be talking about some essentials or some basic stuff you can do for your home gym, some things you might have laying around, some things you can get at Amazon, some things you can get at your hardware store, and some things you can get for completely free. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright guys, so first and foremost, I think the essential of a home gym, whatever you're doing, you need a space for it. Alright, and your space can be anywhere. It can be your living room, it can be a spare bedroom you have, your basement, an attic, out back in a carport, or your garage. If you're lucky enough like that to convince your wife to say, hey, I need this for my garage, you can't keep your car in here. Uh, but yeah, um, so anything that you do as far as your workout space, you want to make it your own. All right. I think the most important thing is that you build a gym around what works well for you and what your application is going to be doing. So I have a lot of equipment here. I'm very blessed. I've collected over a long period of time. For a home gym, you're going to see a lot of things you can get on Amazon, such as um, some foam padding, the interlock puzzle pieces, um, some rollout rubber matting, some rubber flooring like that. Some of that stuff is extremely expensive. I would suggest if you have a Tractor Supply, a Rural King, a Lowe's, or a Home Depot, or some other store like that around, you can get much better flooring, much cheaper, to suit a whole slew of applications. So my floor matting in here is what is called horse stall matting. That is correct. It is for a horse stall mat. Uh, so the one side of it will be textured, the other side, is it, side of it is flat. It is half inch by four foot by six foot. Each one of these mats is something like 33, 35 bucks. All right, so it is very cheap. It is the same price as a lot of yoga mats, and it's a much bigger surface area. So you can get one of these and do a lot of workout equipment or a lot of workouts on that specifically. So the second thing you'll see, I'm sitting on a block. So it's a jump block, reversible. It's three sided. Well, it's six sided as a cube, but it is three sizes. Um, and I bought it specifically because I wanted something like this. I built them in the past. This is one I just wanted for here specifically. So for this, I'm not saying go out and buy this. I'm saying you might already have something you can do this with. So you probably already have a sturdy chair, metal frame, um, or even one of those old metal folding chairs. That is great for it. You can do step ups on it. If it's sturdy enough, you may be able to do some jump stuff on it. Very good for uh, tricep dips. Um, you can elevate your feet for push ups. And guys, I can get into all types of exercises you can do with just a space and a chair or a box like this. Really easy stuff there. Um, with a lot of this, the things too, so like a floor space, you're going to be able to do a lot more leg stuff and upper body stuff for sure, but it's probably going to be more focused on leg stuff. You're not going to be able to hit your arms as much. That's why the first thing I would say that uh, you can be looking for, especially in the pandemic that we are in, home gym equipment is very hard to get right now. You know, some pair of 20 pound weights, 10 pound weights, 30 pound weights, whatever is good for you and your body weight. You want something that you can curl, do a bunch of rep, reps with as far as the dumbbells. I prefer the fixed ones. I think you can do a lot of really fun stuff with them. If you do have a rubber batting like that, you can do a lot more um, Olympic type lifts with the one specific dumbbell or doubles, double thrusters, um, along with hitting all of those classic bodybuilding poses the, uh, or the bodybuilding techniques, all the strength stuff. Um, you can also then do double arm kettlebell stuff with the fixed dumbbells. So double arm kettlebell swings, if you hold it like this, you can go ahead and perform them. I think that's very neat. Um, that's why dumbbells could be top of my list. That's one of the first things I started out with was just the full metal dumbbells. You know, you buy them at Dick's Sporting Goods or Dunham's or something like that on Amazon if you can. And buy the cheap ones that, you know, may rust a little bit. Put them outside, spray paint them. Get some Rust-Oleum, do a couple coats, clear coat, you're good. It's going to last for years. All right? So the next thing I want to go with, um, again, if you have a 4x6 mat and you are locked into a very small space, you're going to have you know, probably not a lot of cardio equipment. Really good thing to start with. I prefer like the $5 and $6 ones, the speed ropes. I think these are, this is a fitness master. And guys, I buy these. They're in like all of my travel bags. I think I have one in each of my work bags, you know, for whatever I do. Um, 
I like them. You can get like the $7 speed rope ones on Amazon. They're great, awesome application, jump rope, switching legs, a lot of boxing drills with them. Really good way to get cardio inside during the winter time. Start with a minute, work up to it. It's, it's going to challenge you a lot more than you think. On the talk of, topic of Amazon, these are not ranked in any order of which you can do or should do. Uh, for me specifically in my application, since I do have a lot of big bar stuff, I'm going to like these bands I have right here. So green, purple, black, and red. They're great. Um, I have my pull-up bars, a couple pull-up bars in the gym that I've done. You can do some really cool stuff with the bands from them. You can do some cool stuff with the bands with the big barbells like this. Um, you know, deficit banded deadlift. Really cool one to do. Um, same thing, really good application for four of these bands. I think I got them for $7.99 on Amazon. Uh, same thing, um, you can buy some of this TheraBand exercise band stuff on Amazon. Really cheap, really easy to do. You get rolls of it. Um, I don't have the box right now, but I've also done that for this exercise tubing here in the past. Black, blue, silver, um, really great application for lots of stuff. You loop the ends, use it for a lot. You leave them open, still do it for punching drills. I mean, you name it, you can do it with this stuff. It's a really good application to have. Same thing. Uh, a lot of people like these pull-up bars. They're great. Um, you see mine's pretty dusty. It just kind of sits in the place because I don't need to use it. I actually have a couple pull-up bars here in my garage gym. Um, really good thing to do. Uh, buy one of these, you get a lot more upper body stuff, different pulling exercises, ways to hit you differently than, like I said, just the floor or just, say, the dumbbells would. Um, another made-for-TV or Amazon purchase, you got the perfect push-up. Um, good way to do stuff. You can do a lot of stuff with uh, you know, push-up bars, the floor, or your dumbbells. So you can do push-ups from your dumbbells, like, say, Renegade Rows, and incorporate that kind of stuff. Uh, you have the ab wheel. Um, I think these things are, again, five to seven dollars. And I think the buff dudes do a tutorial of a DIY ab roller. That's probably about the exact same price, if I remember correctly. Um, great, holds a lot of weight. You can do some cool stuff with it. Um, not an essential, but another really easy thing you can get, especially during COVID times right now. Um, medicine ball. So this is just a 10 pound medicine ball. I have some slam balls. I have some rubberized balls that bounce really well that are different sizes as well. Really good for COVID times. You can do a ton of exercises with them, medicine ball chops. Guys, if you want to see any of this stuff, if you say, Nick, I have A, B, and C here, just challenge me to make some workout programs for you. I love that stuff. I really like a challenge for this. Going to a little bit higher weights and some things you can do with your local hardware store. So I already talked about the matting, how important I think that is and really where you can get it. I think a sledgehammer is a great tool, especially in a world where you might not be able to get dumbbells, two of your 20 pound dumbbells, hey, get two eight pound hammers. Um, the, with the head being actually eight pounds, the, the uh, handle is going to have a weight as well. You can do a lot more stuff with these than you think and really challenge your body in different ways using just one or two specifically. Really cool. And if you incorporate this with some of the free equipment you can get, say an old tire, um, and if you look behind me here, I have my big tire there. That was completely free. Uh, I'll do a garage gym tour probably whenever I get my place cleaned up a little bit, make it a little bit more presentable. Um, and my garage gym is not actually complete as it would be. I loaned out a bunch of equipment to friends of mine for the pandemic. So they're using equipment just so they can, they can get their workouts in as well. Uh, but yeah, sledgehammer, great thing to get. If you're looking to hit a little bit more weight um, and maybe do some cool strongman weightlifting type stuff, um, this is a 50 pound bag of play sand. Play sand. Uh, put it in a contractor bag, wrapped up a couple times, duct taped it up. Man, it's great for slams, great for lifts. I have a 50 pound, I have a 100 pound, that's two of those um, play sand bags together, and the same thing, I have a 150 pound. Really good for those, you know, Atlas stone type of lifts, um, or over the shoulder squat down, lift up, throw over the shoulder, really good stuff like that you can do. You can do some pressing motions with them from the floor, from a bench. Again, really challenge yourself in some different ways. And a 50 pound bag of play sand, something like 
$2.95 at like my local hardware store. So definitely get that. Guys, I have a strength or grip strength and deadlift video coming out. So this is a three inch piece of old fire hose. So one of these by itself, just this right here, is rated for 600 pounds of static weight. Uh, when you loop it around, add some more to it, they actually hold a lot of weight really well. So I like to use them for grip stuff. I've also used these as climbing. I've used them for uh, barbell extensions for like, um, say, not having a T-bar handle. You can use a longer piece of this, really grip it in different ways, and test your grip strength as you do it. Same thing, attach these to a pull-up bar, check it out. Um, the cool thing, I have some of this right here, uh, rolled up, and I think I have a little bit more on the second floor of my garage. You can actually make battle ropes with it. And the three inch stuff's a little bit harder to make battle ropes with. You can always go with the one and a half inch rope or one and a half inch uh, hose. Make some good battle ropes with it. You're going to need this and like a roll of duct tape. Again, I think the buff guys have a DIY battle ropes video. It's not going to be as good as some of the other battle ropes you can get. But, you know, it'll work, especially in COVID times. Another cool thing you can do with this tie it up, build a climbing rope, build some, uh, um, oh, what are they? Um, some hanging app straps. You can do a lot of stuff with this in your local hardware store, so definitely don't pass this up. Again, this is something you can get for free anywhere. And uh, my tire, my big tire here, and let's say you don't have room. Let's say you say, Nick, I only have room for the one 4x6 mat in a carport outside. Cool. Get the sledgehammer, get an old car tire. Those are also going to be free. You're going to see them everywhere, um, you know, clean it off a little bit, get a pair of, you know, work gloves, hit the sledgehammer, get the tire, get after it. You can do a lot of lower body work with that as well. Uh, so guys, like I said, this is just um, something I was thinking about, something I thought would be beneficial, especially in the COVID times, looking for uh, some fitness equipment. I know it's really hard to find right now, and if you do find it, it may be really expensive. So if you say, Nick, I have A, B, and C. Please challenge me. I'll make you a workout program or I'll add some other workouts to your repertoire at least. All right, guys. Just some dude here signing off. Thank you very much for watching.